Okay, so I'm out having dinner with my family, and my brother starts talking about the Super Bowl and how we may never in our lifetime see the Lions participate in one. What's the one thing that never changes with the Lions? Ownership. Nobody's tried to do that. So it got me thinking, you know, I'm pretty good with putting deals together when others can't seem to get them done. Maybe I can structure a deal to put new ownership in place. So I thought I might give it a try. Hello, it's Mr. Devossin. Uh, this is a close personal friend of his. Hello, Mr. DeVos. I'm calling on behalf of the people of the state of Michigan. I think we have a situation here that requires your assistance. The people of Michigan can't take it any longer. We need to get the lines to the Super Bowl. And we need someone with your vision, discipline, stick to itiveness, and pocketbook to make this happen. Yes, I know. You already have a lot on your plate keeping Grand Rapids economically healthy so people can find jobs, building hospitals, and helping countless charities. But this is serious. We need to get our team to the Super Bowl. So you'll consider it? You'll jump on your private jet and meet me down there at the Super Bowl and talk more about it? Great. My jet is in the shop, but I'll find a way down there. Yeah. Okay, guys. Wish me luck. Must be around here someplace. Hmm, there's some interviews going on over there. Let's see. Maybe he's over there. Well, I'm the best one in the game. Will you try me with a sorry receiver like Crabtree? That's the result you're going to get. Don't you ever talk about me. Who is talking about you? Crabtree, don't you open your mouth about the best. Oh, look, the Clydesdales. They're getting ready for the new Budweiser commercial. Mr. DeVos, you live in Michigan. You see the frustrations that we all have as Lion fans. What can we do to get the Lions to the Super Bowl? Do we just wait until the other teams get just as bad as we are? Well, I think we have some work to do. Some are going to suggest we have to change who we are. I don't agree. Uh, it's one way to catch up, I guess, is to have the rest of the team catch us on the downslope. That's the wrong answer. But uh, that's, that's where we are today. The Lions are still lagging the league. And I think we will continue to lag the league until we make the kinds of necessary structural reforms with this team that will position us better to take advantage when an inevitable recovery comes. I do think other teams took the necessary steps years ago to put themselves in a far better position they're going to emerge stronger and unless we make those kinds of changes to put ourselves in the position where we're going to be competitive we've got to take now and get that work done the lions have lost more than a few games with their bumbling undisciplined ways at all the wrong times some have mentioned that you may implement a spanking regimen for these unruly players. Would you personally consider doing the spanking? I am not. And that was after consultation with, with friends, after consultation with Betsy and my family. And uh, we've concluded uh, as a family uh, that, uh, that spanking is not where I'm going to be able to best serve the people. I'm going to continue to be involved. I'm not going away. I will continue to be involved because I care deeply about the game. In the future, as those possibilities come up and as our fa my family situation changes, and kids get a bit older, and, and, and uh, uh, the opportunity may arise for me to bring the, the talents and skills that I could bring to a position, yes, I'd be open. Now that you've purchased the Lions, I know you think I'm a genius for putting this deal together, but all the fans have been working hard on this too. Not just me. It was an extraordinary opportunity, and I'm grateful for what everyone did. I hope you enjoyed that. So obviously, I wasn't able to really meet with Dick DeVos and convince him to save the Lions, but I definitely do know how to put real estate deals together. In fact, Dick and Betsy, if you're ever in the market to buy or sell, I'm only a phone call away. From my home to yours, enjoy the Super Bowl.